I'll never go back to a quad bike. I haven't used the one I've got here for the last five years and I'll never use it again. My name is Robert Hood. I live at uh, Meadow Flat. Uh, we've been farming here since about late 81 or 82. I had an accident that really did frighten me. I was um, mustering, so I sat down to drive across the creek and up the other bank and I gunned the bike up the far bank and as I did that the damn thing flipped over backwards and fell back into the creek with me underneath it and I was very lucky to survive that. My head missed rock by a couple of inches and that rock kept the bike from crushing me completely. It took me a little while to have the strength to get my head out of the water and push the bike off to one side and it was a long cold walk home and the first of the side-by-side -side bikes was just starting to appear and eventually I bought the one I have now which will do just about everything a small ute will do and everything you can do on a quad bike and most of the things you can do on a two-wheel bike. All of these side-by-sides are equipped with proper seat belts, just like a car. You can step in and out of it so easily. When it comes to versatility, it's pretty hard to beat a side-by-side -side bike. Being able to strap yourself in with a seatbelt, carry another adult passenger in a seatbelt. Mine will carry a 400 kilo load and tow 800 kilo trailer. You can carry fencing material, small equipment, generators, whatever you might need to work on a farm, you can carry it in a trailer. Mines have been used mostly for spraying. I bring in firewood, I move stuff around the farm. You've got to be crazy not to, not to invest in one if you're a farmer. Choose the right vehicle for the task, and that's the advantage of a side-by-side. -side. For nearly every task on the farm, it's the right vehicle.